What's good, y'all boys? Welcome back again to another video. Listen, listen, listen. Once again, <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy is uh, in a headline. Vivek was at an event in Iowa, you know, talking to the citizens of America, you know what I'm saying? When some protesters came and circled him and began, you know, speaking their mind and saying what they had to say. And there's two clips of that. We're going to watch both of them. And then we're going to see what happened after... Or really, while they were talking to him, we're going to see what those loving liberal protesters did, okay? So, here's the first clip. Schools, asshole. Protect trans kids. Climate change is real. Anybody else have something to say? So make sure. What's it like being the punching bag of the RNC? Welcome well, I think RNC is corrupt, and I think both political parties are pretty corrupt. So. Ooh. My anyway, mom's a public good. school worker, and she... Okay, I don't know why it wouldn't let me pause with the space bar, but I want to add something. And this is probably for a video topic in of itself, but recently Vivek and Krispy Kreme Christie was supposed to go on Fox News and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation talking about policy and, you know, real shit. You know, something more substan substantive than the actual debates that they've been doing on the stage where everyone's talking over each other and they're just make and they're lying by each other and the audience is Woo! making a bunch of noise and shit and the moderators can't control it so something that's actually real that actually be like helpful for the common american citizen that watches the news and pays attention um but they had they were forced to back out because the rnc said if they did a debate outside of their parameters then they would ban them from the next republican debate next month so they had to cancel but it's crazy you know, my opinion is that they should have said, fuck it, we're going to do it anyway. But Vivek will probably be more willing to do that. Chris Christie, maybe not. Because um, he wants to make sure he's there to, you know, bash Trump. Um, so that's why, that's where that RNC's corrupt comment comes from. Even though, of course, it's corrupt. All of them are corrupt, bruh. They'll have their own agendas. He deserves to be paid and respected. I think every person deserves to be respected, but we are failing to do right by our kids in this country. Our achievement gap versus other countries is bad. And we're all in that together. But here's what I will say. The beauty of this country is that you all have the right to express your opinions and you're doing it peacefully. And even though I disagree with disagree with you, I'm proud of you for expressing your views even if I disagree with you. No, I, I, that's, that's not correct. I do want to fix our public schools though. And so thank her for her service for me. I really mean that. But we also have to focus on how we're going to improve achievement of our kids. And I think we, your mom, if she's as earnest as you're describing, I'm sure she is, cares about the same thing. We're not getting there with the existing system we have. So we're going to have to we're find a better way to do it. And one of the ways we're going to do it is through open debate. You guys are doing your part. I'm going to do mine. Keep it up. Thank you. Destroying public schools. Okay. Not sure why they were saying that about them. But, and then here's the other clip. I always like seeing the videos of when like people that disagree with him come up and talk to him. Cause we saw one before, where I think one of them was like a non-binary reporter or something came asking some questions. It was very cordial, you know what I'm saying? I like stuff like that. I like that better than you know yelling at people and trying to own people, whatever. It's like, bruh, you know, cause at the end of the day, most people that are coming from a place of of uh, like a place that is close to them, like genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like they have issues and they want those issues to be addressed and they perceive something a type of way they want to get that addressed the only way you can address that is by regular conversation talking to people like human beings okay let's see this one what this one's talking about and then and then they just misplaced people from russia to go to donbass region because we have steel plants oh, she and, got see the and the history is long no doubt today. about it but the region, yeah, but the fact of the matter is the regions of the Donbass that are occupied no. now are not even represented in Ukraine's government for Do the last 10 years. Do you think Ukraine should be free? Ukraine should be a sovereign nation. Absolutely. So how, how, is the US, how is the but U.S. going to how is the U.S. Negotiate, going to negotiate a path to peace that allows Ukraine to come out with its sovereignty intact? Well, what NATO, does that sovereignty look like to you? A hard commitment that NATO will not admit Ukraine. What does Ukraine, that sovereignty look like to you? A hard commitment that what NATO... What does that sovereignty look like Yo, he's trying to answer. What the fuck? <laughs> <fuck? laughs> oh my God, he's trying to answer. Keep repeating it. <laughs> commitment that NATO will not admit Ukraine. What does Ukraine, that sovereignty look like to you? A hard commitment that what NATO... What does that sovereignty look like to you? He's answering the question. Whenever you're... Tell me when you're done, and then I'll answer the question. Answer the question. 
NATO. Yo, yo, be- yo. There's something that I just hate when people be acting so smug. <laughs> Answer the question. You see him? Like, look at him, bro. Bro, he talking to you. That's the thing. Because the thing that, is, that I always seen that was different with Vivek and them other people is that when you ask him the question, most of the time he gets direct to your question and gives you the answer. Them other people, they say something else that like is waffling. You know, they they not they don't get to the point. He's getting to the point. How are you gonna do it? By ensuring that NATO does not oh, uh, answer the question. Answer the question, bro. Come on, bro. He's trying to answer the question. I think some people are so not used to straight answers that when they seemingly get them, they automatically think something is off, something is wrong. <laughs> That's why the people that that's why and that's why they all know that they all know that the system knows that the RNC know that the DNC they know that that's why especially the last debate they all focused on trying to talk over him because when you let him talk it starts to make sense in the logic that he presents therefore you don't let him talk and you make a character caricature out of his positions and his ideas and the things he say he says like Nikki Haley screaming about TikTok bruh what's wrong with you bro and that tiktok thing was so funny because even fox news itself was promoting the debate on tiktok so w- come on bro come on whenever you're tell me when you're done and then i'll answer the question, yeah. answer the question. nato will not admit ukraine to nato and should not admit ukraine to why NATO. not because we made a commitment in 1990 and i believe in standing by our commitments that NATO would not expand one inch, not one inch past East Germany. I uh, understand so James Baker told Russia made a commitment that it would not what? expand its territory. Yeah, 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 it's it's exactly not. So, what do you say? What I want to say is I'm very glad that young people are engaged Answer and passionate question. about these issues. So the, the fact the of the matter is, Yo. I believe we have to stand our commitments, but the job of the U.S. president is to look after U.S. interests. Yo, what's wrong with this dude? Answer the question. Answer the question. Why he talked him crazy? You know what I'm saying? And like, it looked like he hiding behind that girl too. Answer the question. And the girl, the girl, <laughs> yo, what's wrong with this dude, bro? Ugh. Why is this, why is this white savior liberal talking down to a person of color? I don't understand. Why would you do that? And have a reasonable path to peace. And I think the path that we're on right now is not going to be good for Ukraine. It's not going to be good for America. It is taking us closer to major conflict with Russia that is going to be bad for everybody involved and the people pushing us to do it are an establishment in both parties of people who are making money off that war that is wrong and that will change on my watch. So what do you think? I, mean- ah, I wish they could record it. I want to see what else happened. So that being said, counter protesters, the uh, protesters showed up, right? He was talking to them, taking their questions and <sighs> something crazy happened. Okay. Something crazy happened. Look at this right here. Vivek Ramaswamy attended a campaign event earlier today and was met by a small group of protesters. He respectfully answered the questions and thanked them for expressing their views, even when disagreeing with them. One of the protesters then got into the car, crashed into Vivek's car, gave him and his staff the middle finger and drove off. The left calls itself the party of love and tolerance, but free speech means respect to all Americans' speech and ensuring that all voices are heard, not just those the left agree with. Ironically, the perp's car had a neighborhood crime watcher sticker on it. So, boom. This is Vivek's car right here. This is, and this is them, I guess, after they hit the car. That car already looked fucked up. Oh, my God. And look at all them bumper. Listen, all them bumper stickers is a red flag anyway. Okay? I don't care if you're a Trumper or a super liberal. A bunch of bumper stickers on your car is a sign of psychotic behavior. Okay? <laughs> but that's crazy, though. Like, bro, imagine you just talking to people. It didn't even, like, turn into nothing toxic. People wasn't fighting. They wasn't arguing. They wasn't fighting. They wasn't screaming at each other, cussing each other out. But you are so triggered that you get in your car and hit somebody else's car. It's probably a rental, too. That's so crazy, bro. Look, there's a linear relationship between the number, I think it's about linear and wrong. Between the number of bumper stickers a car has and the bat shit in Sandy the owner. I don't know. Sounds like terrorism. Uh uh. I'm a tolerant liberal. Agree with me or else you're a racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, redneck, gun toting, America loving bigot. Get your vaccine. Okay. Oh my gosh. Apologies for anything you elected. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy though. That's crazy. 
I believe in free speech, especially for those who disagree with me. Violence is never the answer. We will always hold ourselves to a higher standard than the other side. That shit is so crazy. Like, bro, I don't know what is... I want to know what's going through people's heads when they do that. Like, you want these Republicans or whatever, people that you disagree with, to look crazy. And when they're not looking crazy, you decide to get in your car and go and hit their car with your car. I wish they got it on video. But again, you know, they weren't expecting that. That shit is so... It's so weird to me. And so, apparently, this Ashley St. Clair person is the one who broke the story down. Who uh, who broke with, who broke the story. Uh, we're going to see what she has to say. It's like a six-minute video, but we're going to not watch the whole thing. And then this lunatic hits his car and drives off. But I, I highly doubt, highly doubt that person will see any repercussions to their actions, as these people hardly do. Hardly do. Hello, ALX. Um, right now, I will be voting for Trump, but I, I really do love the things Vivek is saying. I think, especially today, the way he held his composure with these protesters and these young people asking questions, the way he was able to transition the other guy who disagreed with, fantastic. That ginger NPC was so annoying, yes. Oh my goodness. If you guys have not watched those videos, you totally should. Vivek held himself so well. They should have let Vivek answer the questions. Yeah, they were not letting him answer the questions. And that's coming from that's coming from David, right? David, who just said that, is a leftist. He's pretty, pretty liberal. Um, and you know, it's incredible that even people on the left are recognizing how deranged these people are. They don't want to have honest discussions, they don't want to engage in honest uh, debates and discourse. They just yell and shout and scream anybody who disagrees with them away. And yes, uh, we see this often, though. We see this anytime Ben Shapiro goes to a campus, there's protesters. The party of tolerance is the least tolerant people I've ever met in my life. Yeah, and they try to justify that intolerance by saying that, oh, the opposing side is risking their lives. The opposing side is against their life. They don't want them to live. They don't want them to have rights. That's how they justify the behavior. They make a caricature out of people's actual positions 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 and uh yeah that's how they, that's the excuse they use that crazy oh yeah i hit his car but it's because he's a fascist <laughs> and he wants us all to die like that's the excuse that they use every time bro i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it and yeah bro it's, it's really weird because like you gotta think you gotta think deeper about that type of behavior too imagine if that behavior became more and more widespread but people just start doing crazy shit to you because to them, it justifies what they're fighting for. You know, it kind of sounds similar to... <laughs> if you really take it to the extreme end, it sounds like some terrorists, okay? Because what do terrorists do, right? International terrorists. They, do cre they, they commit acts of terror in order to push their either religious or political beliefs, right? Because their beliefs justify their actions, even no matter how inhumane or gross they are. So really imagine like if they, you know, imagine how far that could, that mindset can go if you don't nip it in the bud, if people don't call it out, which I am starting to see some left leaning people, you know, be like, hey, these people are crazy, which is good, you know, because regardless of what your beliefs are, left or right or whatever, 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 you should be able to call a spade a spade. You should be able to call something wrong, wrong. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, I say it all the time on this channel. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Just call it out. Because otherwise, you're going to create monsters. And when these monsters come back to bite you, you're going to act surprised. Don't act surprised because you saw this coming. You saw it happening. When people were calling it out, you called them crazy or you ignored it. And now look. You know, it's funny. And it's funny, too, how a lot of that stuff comes from the side that always is talking about, like, accountability, accountability. Men don't hold each other accountable. It's that same side. And yet, here we go. Crazy. Bay, man. It, Overall, it's another dub for Vivek. I can only find those two videos from when he was out there. Maybe there's more on his channel. Let's see. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. You know, I think this is another dub for Vivek. You're going to see what happens as time keeps going. Uh, I think the next Republican debate is next month, November. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. A lot of crazy stuff is happening, bro. Hey, 
Keep your minds open. You know what I'm saying? Don't fall for group think. Use your common sense. Use your reason. Use your logic. You know what I'm saying? And just speak from your heart, for real. When it comes to real issues, for real, that people are facing, when it comes to, like, the border, that shit is going crazy right now, or whatever, even whatever issues going on in your own local community, like, you know, if you're speaking, just speak from your heart and speak with your mind. You feel me? Bae. Hey, my name is Boss Enos, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and join the Discord. Link's in the description box. Peace out.